Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a military airbase in Minecraft. But before we begin, I just want to say a special thank you to Treddy Official for suggesting this idea. And if you have any suggestions for future build tutorials, put them down below in the comments, and who knows? Now on to the biggest tutorial I've done on this channel so far. Let's begin. First you'll need to find an area, anywhere, it doesn't matter what this is, and you'll need to flatten it out. Then add a layer of grass over this flat layer. Next we'll need to add an outline for your runway. So make two large strips of red wool, both of which should be at least seven blocks thick. Then at the bottom of the runway, connect the two sides up. Next we need to outline the hangers, which you can do by just outlining three square boxes roughly 15 blocks back from the runway. Then connect the runway to the hangers. Then we need to change all the red wool into a light grey concrete. You could also have the paths leading into the hangers be at a tilt, like this. But if you do have it at a tilt, make sure that you cover up some of the spare land so that it doesn't look so flat like this. Next, on whatever side you want your runway to be the taking off side, swap out the light grey concrete to grey concrete powder. Also, a cool little trick that you can do to make it look like your path is more connected is to rather than have a cut splitting the two sides, have it so that it smoothly transitions where you have a few concrete powder blocks on the concrete side. Now we can start working on the markings for the taxiway. Start by having yellow concrete in the centre of your light grey concrete path, which is your taxiway. Then connecting the intersections from your hangers to the taxiway so that you end up with yellow triangles like this. Next add a line which is made up alternatively of yellow and black concrete powder. Then add some red concrete powder in front of this line, just like how it's shown on screen now. Now that we've finished the taxiway, it's time to start working on the runway. You should use white concrete powder embedded into the floor in a certain pattern how you want your runway to be. Or you could just use the pattern you see on screen now. Now we can start working on the hangers which you can do by building up the outlines we had earlier using lime terracotta to approximately 20 to 25 blocks high, leaving the front wall empty though. It is also very important that the pathways leading up to the hangars have land surrounding them so that they don't look like they're just floating. To build the entrance, you need to start by adding a framework of smooth sandstone leading all the way up to the top, then having smooth stone where every few blocks you push it back by one block. So you end up with a pattern like this. At this point, you should also connect your paths leading into the hangers. Next, have two layers of grey concrete above your hanger. Then surround that grey concrete using sandstone slabs like this. Then add a roof to your hanger. I use daylight sensors for mine. Now repeat this build for your other hangers as well. And you should end up with something like this. Also, any floating land next to your hangers, you should just fill in like this. Next, in between your runway and your taxiway, we can create the illusion of a burned up area. To do this, you have path blocks leading all the way through, and then any other areas you have coarse dirt. Next, we need to focus on the land between the taxiway and the hangers. You can continue that same burnt up feeling that we had in the center of the runway and the taxiway just outside the taxiway but you could also add some trees a bit further back as well as some bone meal too next we need to create a watchtower for your military airbase to do this scaffold up near the runway and create a grass platform i've just outlined mine in red wool so that you can see it a bit more clearly but you do not need to do this then create a circle on this platform. Next, on the ends of the larger parts of the circle, pillar up roughly 15 to 20 blocks with smooth sandstone. Then one block back for the rest of the circle, place grey concrete. Also add a window of ice nearer the top of the tower. Add an interior to the tower and now you can watch over the military airbase. However, remember how your tower is on a grass platform? We need to do a bit of terraforming, which just means adding a bit of stone underneath so that it looks a bit more structurally sound. Also, to make your terraforming look a bit better, I recommend using slabs rather than full blocks. 
Also, that you have multiple variations of height throughout the whole terraforming. Next, we need to do the exact same steps that we just did with any overhanging large pieces of land like this. However, if we have random islands like this, we can just remove them. Or like this, we can remove that too. Next, you'll need to add more grass platforms covering the left side of your runway, just like this. And I've outlined mine in wool so that it's a bit more clear for you, the viewer. You do not need to do that. Just like we did with the tower, you now need to add the stone terraformation underneath so that you end up with something like this. Also, on the right side of your taxiway, you can also add another one of those cliffs so that you have a more enclosed feeling towards your military airbase. However, if we look at a map of the entire military airbase, you might realise it's very squared and does not look natural at all, which is why your next step should be to make more curves into this island so that it doesn't look so squarish. So I hope you enjoy building your military airbase. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like that smash button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.